Have you ever wondered why people do what they do? In psychology, there is no single answer. And because there's no single answer, we know that we have to approach questions from different angles. And because of this, psychology has numerous schools or thoughts that are known as perspectives. And these different perspectives seek to understand human behavior and thinking. So below in the reading, you have different perspectives listed from structuralism, functionalism, gestalt, and more. Now, in this video, we're going to be covering some other ones, but we are going to actually cover a few that are really big within psychology here in the video and down below, like humanistic perspective. First here in the video, we're covering biological perspective. This looks at how the brain, nervous system, and genetics influence our behavior. A biological psychologist might ask, is this behavior linked to brain chemistry or hormones? Next is behavioral perspective, which focuses on how we learn through rewards, punishment, and observation. Later on in this course, you're going to be learning about Pavlov and his dogs in the Skinner box. And through this, you're going to see how this perspective looks at how behavior is shaped by our environment. The cognitive perspective explores how we think, remember, and solve problems. Whenever you see cognitive or cognition, think about thinking. It's like studying the software of the brain. Psychologists here ask, how do our thoughts influence what we do? The humanistic perspective is all about personal growth and self-fulfillment. It sees people as naturally good and focused on becoming their better selves. Famous names here include Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow. The psychodynamic perspective was started by Sigmund Freud, but he actually started a different perspective known as psychoanalysis that then eventually evolves into psychodynamic um, during Freud's life and with his mentees like Carl Jung. Now this perspective is focusing on our unconscious. What is happening at the back of our brain that is going to be influencing our thoughts and our behaviors. Finally, there is sociocultural perspective, and this focuses on how culture, society, and relationships affect our thoughts and behaviors. It asks, how are we impacted by where we live and by who we live with? What are the various items in our environment that shape who we are? Each of these perspectives offers a different lens, but they help psychologists understand the full picture of what makes us human.